Good morning. We are out camping this weekend. It is 7.40 a.m. We have a fridge, this 12 volt fridge that we want to power from Bouge RV. And we want to see how long the Blue Eddy EV3A can power it. So we've got 100% battery life. Plug the fridge in, power the DC. There's the beep for the fridge, and let's see if it starts. Okay, so we're pulling about 36, 35 watts. Based on that, we can run for roughly seven hours. That's what it's telling us. And of course we know the fridge will cycle on and off. It won't draw constant. So we will see how long the fridge can run off this power station fully charged. This fridge is a 53 quart model from Bouge RV. It's currently at 41 degrees and it is set to eco mode. And the temperature is set to 34 degrees. Right now, if I were to, I don't have a thermometer with me, but if I were to guess the temperature, I would say it's about 66 degrees right now. And we do have some scattered showers forecast throughout the weekend. It rained on us a little bit last night, but I would imagine today it may get as hot as 85, 90. But if we consider the truck with the doors shut and warming up, it may get as hot as 100 degrees in here. So I will keep you posted and we will see how long the Blue Eddy can power the fridge. And that's kind of interesting. It's now down to 29 watts, was 28, and can run for eight hours. Here is a mid update. It is 131. So we're coming up on six hours that the power station has provided power to the fridge. We are at 48%, and the fridge is at 35 degrees and we also adjusted it to 36 about an hour or two ago the weather is scattered clouds it feels like it's about 80 85 probably about 85 degrees is my best guess we have had more sun this morning and now there's more cl clouds moving in so now inside the truck i would imagine it's somewhere in the 90 degree range right now since it's been going for six hours and we're in the hotter part of the day we're at 48 percent i would imagine that it could power the fridge without any solar power for at least another four hours so we will see how it how it does today okay it is 621 and we just got back from a long ATV ride and unfortunately the power station is at 0%. So what I want it to do is power the fridge and see what temperature it's at because I'm pretty sure if, if it's really hot then I know that the power station died a long time ago and if it's still in the 30s then I know that the power station must have just barely given out. So we'll plug this into this one that's been charging via the solar all day. Okay, so it's at 44 degrees. So if I were to guess, and let me show you kind of the weather right now. It's a bit cloudy. It feels like 
80 degrees roughly so for being 44 that's only eight degrees above what we set it to and that's on eco mode i would venture to guess that the power station probably lasted until about 40 minutes ago which would have put it at 540 and starting at 740 a.m this morning that's 10 hours this is a real world test to see how long the Blue Eddy EB3A would last. We can conclude that from the morning to the afternoon that you can expect just about 10 hours. Just to summarize those results, on the Blue Eddy EB3A we saw about 10 hours of runtime on the fridge from the early morning of 7.40 a.m and it was about 66, high 60s, almost 70 degrees, and it lasted 10 hours into the hottest part of the day, all the way until roughly 5.40 p.m. is my best guess. So that's 10 hours of runtime and a range between the high 60s all the way up into the 90s. So that's not too bad. When you consider the fact that the Blue Eddy EV3A has a 268 watt hour battery that is a lithium iron phosphate, which is really good. One way to look at it is if you take 268 watt hours of the available battery and divide that by the runtime of 10 hours, that's 26.8 watts being used on average each hour by the fridge. Of course, we know there are inefficiencies in the battery and the inverter so there is going to be some power loss there. So if we took a 10% power loss with those efficiencies, then 268 times 90%. That would be 241.2. Okay, basically 240 watt hours of usable battery. So if you divide that by 10, then you get 24 watts that are being used per hour roughly by the fridge and just keep in mind this is a dc test we're not testing the ac inverter basically what you can take from this video is that if you have a blue eddy ev3a power station and a similarly specced fridge that consumes about the same power like the dc fridge i showed you in the video then on a day on an average summer day that may get as cool into the high 60s, low 70s, and may get as hot as up into the 90s. With those parameters, you can roughly expect the power station to last about 10 hours. Now, if you have a solar panel, you plug that into the power station, you can basically run it indefinitely. Or if you're traveling during the day in your vehicle, you just plug the fridge into your car, or if you didn't want to do that, you could plug your power station, the Blue Eddy EB3A, into your car just to charge it while you're driving. I hope this simple test was helpful to give you a better idea of what you could expect out of the Blue Eddy EB3A power station. It's a richly feature-packed unit with a, with a small setup. It's got a lithium iron phosphate battery, 268 watt hours is what it's rated for with a 600 watt AC inverter for running a fridge, probably for running a DC fridge is probably the most power hungry device that you would want to use over a long period of time with the Blue Eddy, with this power station because the battery is so small. Yeah, I just think it's a great power station. So if you want one, I've got a link in down in the description that you can go check it out on Amazon. Let me know your thoughts about the Blue Eddy EB3A, and if you have one, how you have liked it, or what things you wish were different on the Blue Eddy EB3A. So, with that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.